Hello YouTube, Vintage Sterling Finds here. Today we're going to talk about JSP Gold Acid, how to use it, and some t tips and tricks about what to do when the gold's not stamped. So let's jump into it. First item we have here is a little pin I got from the thrift store. I paid 50 cents. It's heavy, not stamped anywhere. Let's test it. First thing I like to do, Always go behind the item because we don't want to scratch this. So we're going to take it from a corner. Nice deep scratch. There we go. Let's start off with the 10K. Never get this on your hands, it's acid. Just gonna put that like so. Always like to move it around and always give it 20, 30 seconds. Also, all these acids are almost brand new. These two I got yesterday. These two are about maybe a month old. After about one year, get new acid. Now, as we can see, that did not erase the gold so we know this is at least 10k gold when i don't know i always like to start at the bottom and work my way up let's try this with maybe 14k grab our 14k Give it a couple seconds. Oh, wow. And as you can see, the 14K just absolutely erased it. Meaning this is 10K gold. Let's put that up here. I always like to grab a tissue, paper towel. Don't get it on your skin. Next item. Let's test these earrings. 14K gold. Got them at the thrift store. Who knows? They are marked on the stem. 14k let's give these a try see how these come up for earrings i always like to do it on the end even pressure in case they're plated we don't want the plating we want to get right in there like so if it says 14k i always start at what the marking says drop a little acid And as we can see, the app, that was a really deep scratch I did. We've waited a couple seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. That hasn't moved. That tells me it's real. Sometimes you get a little line left on the stone. Take the 18. Erases it almost immediately. Good, good. Next, let's move on to this ring. As you can see, it's stamped 18K. But stamps could be fake, so let's give this guy a test. Nice, deep scratch. Again, when the marking's like this, that's not a very nice market. It's almost off center, almost off the object. Makes me very nervous. Take our 18K acid. And almost immediately. So this is not 18K gold. But let's test it with 10K because sometimes it could be stamped 18 but be a lower grade. So when this happens, I always like to double check. By doing an additional test. Yep. 
Yeah, and as you can see, the 10K is evaporating it. This is what I mean. You want to give it 20, 30 seconds. And as you can see, the 10K is eating away, so that is not gold. Lastly, we have what I believe is a high carat gold. Maybe 22, maybe 24 carat. I found this with my metal detector. It looks like it's a dainty bracelet. It broke because gold is just way too malleable to be this flimsy. But I don't know. Let's test it. Very heavy. So let's just... And you know, let's, because I think this is so high carat, let's just jump to the 22 right away. Got ourselves a little bubble there. There we go. Clean that off. And as we can see, the 22 didn't do anything. So that tells me that this is going to be um, 22 and above. Thank you for watching my video. Remember, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. I go thrifting. I have an Etsy store. Um, we're going to talk about shipping. We're going to buy junk jewelry bags from thrift stores. Look through those. If you like what you see. Subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching the video, guys.